I clearly remember September 11th, 2001. You probably do too. It was the most beautiful day anyone could imagine. Clear blue sky, warm air, cool breeze. And then the unthinkable happened. I remember another date, not quite so specific, but it was March of 2009. For me, my business, that was the pit of the Great Recession. I remember sitting in my favorite chair in my study at my home, reading the newspaper and thinking, what more could possibly happen, happen and how little control I have. And here we are again. It's March of 2020. We're experiencing something that is clearly beyond our control likely beyond our current understanding and for which we have little frame of reference. Most of you know I'm going to talk about choosing hope, but I don't want that to minimize the very real current realities that many of you are dealing with on a number of fronts. Our prayers, our support, our thoughts, our hopes, they're with you. I also want to remind you that, as my friend Neil Rice reminded me just a couple of days ago, that if you are a leader, a leader of a family, a leader of an organization, a leader of a, of a ministry, a leader of a business, a leader of a nonprofit, you are not there by accident. You are there by divine design. And so you need to make a choice. First of all, you need to make a choice about your mind, what you choose to believe, your mindset. Secondly, you need to make a choice about your demeanor. And third of all, you need to make a choice about your message, your mindset, your demeanor, your message. Mine, of course, is going to be about optimism. It's going to be about hope and it's going to be about casting a hopeful, optimistic vision for the future because there will be a future beyond this current situation. I want to do all of that while being firmly grounded in dealing with our current reality. So if you are a leader, please lead. Deal assertively with your current realities. Deal assertively with what you can control. Protect your family. Protect your employees. Protect your business. And of course, protect yourself. Stay healthy. And I implore you, choose hope. Hope and vision are the indispensable currencies of leadership. And remember one other thing, as one of my favorite authors likes to say, leaders eat last. You should be last in line. And above all, choose hope.